All right, guys, in this video, my buddy Jared and I are going to be showing you how to install your Alpha Rex Pro Series headlights. Here's what they look like before with the halogen lamps um, that come with your truck from the factory. Let's get into it. All right, so the Alpha Rex Pro Series headlights came in today. Um, I did that. That's my bad. But... They came in this big box. And then inside of this box is another box because they've got the headlights themselves uh, individually wrapped in here. So I'll show you what the packaging looks like for the individual light in its own box. That's what it looks like when it comes in the box. And we'll do your connecting wires for your um, DIO switchbacks with the fuse in it. Um, but yeah, in case any of you are worried about, you know, even though you're still getting a deal at 430 bucks. Um, and if any of you are military or first responders, I work on the ambulance and I actually ended up um, getting a little bit of a discount for the headlights because of that. So I actually ended up only paying uh, 410 for these headlights. So um, every little bit counts. Um, that was really nice. So I will take it. They just use the ID, um, the verify me. So you use your ID or licensure to prove that you're a first responder, and then you get that discount. Um, but these are it. I just got the Pro Series with the plain black. I did not get the jet black. Um, but if any of you are worried about that amount of money and the kind of packaging that your product is going to come in, I just wanted to add that portion for you so that you can see not only do they have the headlight itself protected individually with the styrofoam, it is boxed individually. And then you have the additional outside box. So I am more than happy with that packaging. And uh, I'll have an update in a little bit. A 10, a 10 mil, and then one of these. And then the trim pulls out. You First you have to crack a beer, and then the trim will pull out. Beer is required for this project. It's held in with clips. Where I had to do those. Oh, oh no, but that's on the inside part. Okay, and then pulls away from there. Voila. Okay, so now we have to remove this bolt, which was an eight, right? We figured out it was an eight millimeter. Okay. Eight millimeter. 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, 10 mil here. There is one hidden back there that you'll have to get to. And then there's one right there. That dark one in the back, let's see. Right. Come on camera, right there. 
one at your last 10. So here's the fuse box map. We used 97. Because that has to do with your key. So according to the key, this is 97. So what we did was we bought it at a circuit, which is going to go to your gray wire. That's a part of your harness that runs your DRLs. So gray wire goes into your ADA circuit and then two 10 fuses, just like these, are gonna go into there. And then you plug it into slot 97. And then the short end of that harness can actually run through a hole right there. So we ran it through right here. And then we popped each of these out. We popped each of these out all the way down. Lifted it up and ran that wire underneath here. Hit it under there. And it comes down and comes out under there. For your passenger side. Let's see that green handle wants over there. Much easier. Oh, this one did all right. I just have to be able to see. There they are. And make sure to drop the tool, the one that you need. All right. Back there. You gotta push that center leg back. Damn. Bastard. All right. All right. And then there's one on this other side too. Did we get that one way in the back? Got that one plug out here, yeah. No, there's a 10 mil in there. That's the hidden one that I had to get out. Is it still in there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you need me to hold the fender? Can you take it all the way off or no? I don't, I think we took the other one all the way off because really? it ended up being up yeah, too tight of a space. Where's that? We, uh, right here is one of them. Yeah, that's right. I use that one, I can't even get one. Just that easy. <laughs> Last one out of here. Look, the truck says, oh. Oh, shit, you made it this far. The mechanic left us a note. Let's 
show that little pin. So this pops out of. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That right there, that hole right there. And you'll have to pop it back in with the new headlight, but it pops out of there. Fits. There we go. That clips in it holds it and then you take your ten mils. Get them put in on the top to hold the light. 
And then you can start your reassembly of all your other trim. Fight your excitement and test your lights before you put all the trim back in. Adults have temper tantrums too. And that's one of the things that causes temper tantrums. Putting the whole fucking thing back together. And then it doesn't work. And then you gotta undo this to run this. We'll just slide underneath it in here. Same thing on the positive side with this. You want this one or this one? Uh, whichever one you think is best. Or same thing. We're running off that one because that one's everything going to it. So that cover, don't hit it. Okay, there we go. I think some people also run the ground right here. Yeah, you can run it anywhere. Well, that one's I'm good with putting it there, but some people I saw ran the ground there. Your best ground is gonna be right here. This is a fantastic song. and then you have to fight it like hell. So try to snap those in first and then work your way to the back where like those will go into your holes back there and hold it in place. But we had to fight those on the other side. This bolt back here is an eight millimeter and that is how you raise and lower your headlights the bulbs to get them where you need them to be.
hopefully this video helped you guys out um if it did hit the like subscribe i love doing these diy videos it's the purpose of the channel link for the headlights will be in the description along with the tools needed for you guys to do the job on your truck